Okay, this month's webinar topic is EtherCAT Solutions. Today we'll be going over, uh, first of all, what is EtherCAT, followed by ICP-DOS USA Solutions for EtherCAT, including our EtherCAT I.O. modules, our EtherCAT gateways, and then we'll go over a few applications and complementary products that we will be coming out with soon. <clears throat> ICP-DOS was established in 1993. Our headquarters is in Chinchu, Taiwan, and ICP-DOS USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. Our company is ISO 9001 certified, and we're a Microsoft embedded partner. What is EtherCAT? EtherCAT stands for Ethernet of Control Automation Technology. It is a real-time Ethernet technology developed by Beckhoff in Germany. It uses standard Ethernet interfaces, provides high-speed communication to each slave device, and EtherCAT wiring is very flexible. It has precise synchronization, less than one microsecond. Uh, the de design principles of EtherCAT defined on the EtherCAT.org site include exceptional performance, flexible topology, it is simple and robust. There's integrated safety built in and affordability. EtherCAT uses a standard network uh, defined by IEEE 802.3 uh, using category 5E RJ45 uh, cabling and communication distance up to 100 meters between nodes. There is no need to connect other devices. Uh, we suggest to use the Intel network card uh, with TwinCAT RT driver support and modules connected by daisy chain traditionally. EtherCAT communication goes from the master along a daisy chain uh, path to each slave device and back to the master. Uh, if you want to, there's a YouTube uh, video link at the bottom, which will show you more details about EtherCAT communication. The video was created by the EtherCAT.org uh, society or group. It'll show you how the EtherCAT messages broadcast from the master starting, and each device will simply fill in its uh, portion of the data, and it'll uh, go back to the master. EtherCAT is much faster than Modbus. It communicates uh, via Ethernet and is uh, full duplex communication. You can have up to 256 digital I.O. Uh, processed in 11 microseconds, uh, 1,000 digital I.O. distributed to uh, 100 nodes in 30 microseconds, Uh, up to 200 analog I.O., 16-bit uh, data, uh, transmitted to, uh, to each node in 50 microseconds, or up to 100 uh, servo devices in only 100 microseconds. Modbus is in millisecond level, so it's much, much slower. And more Modbus slave devices will reduce the speed. EtherCAT has a very flexible topology. You can have up to 65,535 nodes per EtherCAT segment. And the topology varies based on the traditional line, star, tree. In addition, you could do daisy chain and drop lines that can re be used in any combination uh, as long as you're able to connect the nodes uh, one by one and you can use additional networking and EtherCAT accessories to uh, implement some of the more complex networks. The picture shown here shows the EtherCAT network with 10,000 uh, plus EtherCAT nodes. Uh, because of its distributed clock, uh, precision is within one microsecond 
by exact adjustment of the distributed clock. ICP-DOS offers many solutions for EtherCAT. Uh, we'll start off with our EtherCAT I.O. modules, uh, our ECAT 7000 series. Then we'll briefly go over our EtherCAT to Modbus gateways we currently have. Uh, we have Ethernet, or I'm sorry, EtherCAT motion cards and EtherCAT junctions coming up uh, to be released very soon. <clears throat> This is the traditional topology for EtherCAT Remote I.O. The EtherCAT Master is daisy chained to one or many EtherCAT uh, Remote I.O. modules. And then you connect your uh, digital and analog uh, input signals to each Remote I.O. module that is daisy chained. And between each link, you can have up to 100 meters in length. Here's a selection guide for our digital I.O. modules. Uh, we have several combinations with different numbers of channels, different input and output types. And with these modules, they come with an 8, 16, or 32 of a single input or output type uh, per module. This next table shows our combination modules with both digital inputs and digital outputs built into the module. And again, we have different and various combinations available, including relay at the bottom, as well as and uh, input types of uh, wet, which is sink or source, and dry contacts. For our analog modules, we only have a few at this moment, but we're coming out with a few very shortly. Uh, our current uh, selection is shown here, the ECAD 2011 H uh, accepts both analog input types of uh, voltage at 12-bit resolution. Um, analog output types, we have two different modules, one with four channel and one with eight channels. <clears throat> our next topic is our EtherCAT gateways. For the EtherCAT gateways, we have our ECAT 2610 and 2611, which allows uh, connectivity and communication between EtherCAT and Modbus. So if you have a Modbus RTU uh, slave device or master device, depending on which module you choose, um, you can connect to and pass data to an EtherCAT network and vice versa. And the EtherCAT uh, slave module has up to 256 um, input and output words maximum, and is communicable by RS-232, 422, and 485 for the uh, Modbus side. Uh, the 2610 has this topology, and allows you to daisy chain uh, Modbus uh, gateways. Uh, for EtherCAT applications, here's a few that ICP-DOS has implemented. There's many, many, many other options available on EtherCAT.org. Uh, our basic applications are both factory automation and data acquisition applications, but EtherCAT is very special in that it can handle a very high-speed application, low-latency applications, and time-critical applications, including robotics, manufacturing, and motion control. Um, for our EtherCAT solutions, uh, again, we currently have EtherCAT slave I.O. modules and EtherCAT gateways, but the devices coming soon include EtherCAT masters, EtherCAT junctions, which allows you to implement some of the more complex topologies, uh, EtherCAT media converters, so it goes EtherCAT to fiber, so it allows you to uh, connect uh, faraway nodes by fiber and implement them in the same network. Uh, stepper motor controls and encoder and counter modules. Here's a list of the products we have scheduled already, including our ECAT uh, 2011H, which is already released. 
Um, coming soon are a few more analog input modules, which accept both voltage and current inputs. Uh, RTD, strain gauge, and thermocouple module coming uh, early next year. And on the motor control side and uh, encoder side, uh, we have a few products coming out very, very soon.